out there in the land of the living let me tell you it is such a beautiful wonderful precious special day every single day that you get up with a mind made up do you understand everything works for your good because it only works for your good when you are the called and chosen according to his purpose it don't work for your good when you got an attitude because when you got an attitude and when your mentality is not right you have to be corrected and you have to be chastened so it will only work for your good, all praises to the Most High, when your attitude is right. You got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, self, we shall prosper today because we are here in life to prosper. You are here in life to prosper. You have come to life to prosper. The creator of the heavens and the earth created you to prosper. He created the challenges and difficulties for you to know how great the greater in you is. That's why the name is Awaken Greatness. Once you awaken to the greatness in you, you will never go back to sleep. You can never go back to sleep once you awaken to the greatness in you. It's not a religion. It's not a religion. It has nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with power. It's power. It's power over the devil, the adversary, the darkness. That's what this is about. It's power. We talk about love. Love is not emotional. Love is power power to endure that's what love is power to see beyond the difficulties that's what love is power to see the, the the good in one another that's what love is so it's been way too much fake stuff going on in this world and it's time to rise up in the reality of y'all's love no matter where you at on your journey have you accepted love that's what it's about Love does not come with, 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 with man's expectations attached to it. Love comes with one, one, one commandment. Is that you will give your all. 
Give your all, says love. Give your all to me, says love. And when you give your all to love, love will continue to give its all to you. And that means guide you. That means give you understanding. That means that means show you the clarity of the vision that that you are here pursuing. So that's what this is time for. This is not a game. This is not a game. I'm done with religion. I'm done with the religious people. I'm done with the people who who are judging. Yet them yet they themselves are in bondage. How do you judge anybody or anything when you have when you have not the peace of the most high? How do you judge someone you don't even have love? How do you judge someone you're not even happy? How do you judge someone when you haven't even conquered death? How do you judge someone when you haven't even conquered your own challenges and difficulties in life? Because when you have conquered your challenges and difficulties in life, you have compassion. When you have challenged your challenge, when you have conquered your challenges and difficulties in life, you have mercy. It ain't about the numbers. I can get on YouTube. I can get on this and that. It ain't about the numbers. It's about the real. I'm done with the fake people. I'm done with the people, the hallelujah people. That's praising them with their mouth, but their hearts are far from him. You worship me with your mouth, but your heart is far from me. You love of invisible God in heaven, but you don't have no love for your brother. You trust in the hand of a man to provide for you your job, your employer, but you don't trust in the hand of the one that keeps the sun in the sky. Huh? Where do we stand? The Messiah came to overturn the grips of religion. The Messiah came to to, to, to annihilate the chains of mental bondage. So in 2021, on what is this day? This day that Yah has made on, on May 29th. On May 29th at 2021, have you been released from the bondage? Have you been released from the bondage of depression? Have you been released from the bondage of, 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 of a lack of self-control? Have you been released from the bondage of sexu- sexual promiscuity? Have you been released from the bondage? The bondage of that low self-esteem that caused you to do those those heinous things. That caused you to do those devilish things. Have you been released from that bondage? Because if you have not, you need to shut your mouth. You need to shut your mouth and be still and know that he is the most high. And that he's a redeemer. And if you have been released from that bondage, you need to stand up and speak. You need to stand up and share your testimony. You need to stand up and declare the glory of the Most High in the earth. Not according to religion. I didn't ask you for a scripture. I don't want you to give me no scripture. I don't need another scripture for you to give me. What I need for you to do is I need for you to walk in power. What I need for you to do is look at every challenge that stands before you and and say to yourself, for I know that it is the greater in me that shall see me through. That you should look at every circumstance that you're in and say, I know that it is the greater in me that shall see you through. I don't care if you say Jesus. That ain't on me. I don't care if you say Yahweh. That ain't on me. But you better know the greater in you. I say the most high because there is no higher, higher than that. There is no greater, greater than that. So it's not a game and it's not a joke. So that's what this is about. This is about championing, championing each and every day of our life. This is about rising up in greatness every day of our life. No, sometimes you don't feel so great. Sometimes you don't feel so powerful, but guess what you are? Guess what you are? Sometimes you don't feel so beautiful, but guess what you are? Sometimes you don't feel so special. Sometimes you feel overlooked. Sometimes you feel like people don't care. But guess what? You are that special. Guess what? You are the apple of his eye. I don't care if don't nobody ever acknowledge you. You better acknowledge the greater in you. As the greater in you has been acknowledging you every day of your life. The greater in you, the most high has acknowledged you. 
has been good to you, has been kind to you, has been, has been patient with you. Yet you afraid to let go of a job? You afraid to let go of a nine to five? Your nine to five baby ain't give you no breath. Your nine to five my brother ain't give you no breath. Your nine to five baby ain't give you no hope. Your nine to five ain't giving you no peace. So we're the real children of the light. No matter what spectrum you on right now. No matter what dynamic you on right now. With the real, real children of the light stand up and declare the power of the true and living most high. Period. That's what this is about. And nothing else. Every single day is about being powerful. You going out, you live in the you live in the hood, go out in the hood and be a light. You live in the suburbs, go out in the suburbs and be in a, a be a light. Be a light with that smile on your face. When you have the glory of the most high in your life, all you have to do is smile and you, you don't even know that demons are breaking off of people's life just from your smile. But yet you doubt yourself. Let me tell you, when you doubt yourself, you are doubting the creator of the heavens and the earth. And, and after today, this stops today. This stops today. Doubt stops today. No more doubting. No more worrying. No more wondering. No more if he's willing. He showed you he's willing. He already showed you he's willing. How many years old are you? I'm 29. For 29 years of my entire life, he has shown me that he's willing for, for me to prosper. Even as my soul prospers. Do you hear me? So I don't care. It's 11 people. I don't care. I don't care about it being 1,111,000. No, where, where, where the chosen at? For many are called, but few are chosen. This is the hour that we are in where the called are hate, the called are, the called hate the chosen. The called hate the chosen because the call got to get a glimpse. See, the call got to get a glimpse at the kingdom, but they're not going to make it. And this is why they hate. The chosen because the chosen are already signed and they already sealed. So this is the separation. If you cannot conquer those doubts, if you cannot conquer those fears, you may just be the called. And you may have to accept that today that this is not for you. But if you are the chosen, then it's hit different. Then this then this is it hit different. Do you understand? This is not a game. And so with all that. Being said, bringing it in and leaving this message short. Stop wasting time. Stop giving people access to your life who are not reciprocating the love that you are giving. Stop. That is not that is not what you are required to do. That's not pious for you to just be open to anybody at any time. That is not that is not authority. That is not love being loose. Love has boundaries. You cannot call me anytime that you want. I don't care who you is. That's love. Love is not, oh, this is so-and-so. I ain't talked to so-and-so in 10 weeks. So-and-so ain't even thought about me in 10 weeks. But I'm about to drop and drop what I'm doing, the important work that I'm doing, my father's business, and answer the phone for so-and-so. No, so-and-so, you don't even call and check on me, so-and-so. And some people may say, brother, are you angry? No, I'm not. But what I am mad about is the state of my people. I'm not angry about no, what people have done. I don't blame nobody. But what I am mad about is to see my people remain in bondage. So as the sun continues in the sky and as the wind continues to blow, I will continue to declare the righteousness of the most high in the earth. Period. Point blank. Until I see my people where that my people is supposed to be. Period. Point blank. So y'all don't hit me with the religion. Don't be in my DM with no religious stuff. I'm not with it. I've seen the bondage. I've seen the fakeness. I've seen the fakeness of the Hebrew Israelite movement. I've seen the fakeness of Christianity. I've seen the fakeness of religion. I've seen the fakeness and I'm done. I'm through. 
because six years ago when the most high see me in my blood and said live he didn't come with no hebrew israelite religion it didn't it didn't take for me to know that my ancestors was the people of the bible for me to get free so see that's where the called and chosen differentiate because y'all set me free before i knew that i was a child of israel by blood now i always considered that in my mind that the people in the bible were black people i always considered that but i didn't know i, I didn't i never i never consciously accepted that but i didn't it didn't have i didn't have to consciously accept that for me to accept my heavenly father's love do you understand do you understand so don't be in my inbox with the this and the this and the that i'm not here for it i will block you you will be blocked and you will not be able to see the glory of yah in my life and that's okay but for those who will be around, I will continue to post the glory of Yah. That's all I will post is the glory of Yah. That's all I will talk about is the glory of Yah. That's all that beats in my heart is the glory of Yah. Because my life, hallelujah, my life is not a result of a pastor. My life is not a result of a deacon. My life is not the result of a congregation. That's not even how the Messiah moved. He didn't move in congregations. All these big Hebrew Israelite congregations, y'all know who y'all are. I'm calling you out. I'm calling out the spirit that's behind that. The falseness. Gathered in the lie. Gathered in comfort, but not making real moves. So no, no elder will get the praise and the glory for my life. Do you understand? And that is how that is how it is when you are chosen. He came to you in your blood and said, live and never forget that. Never forget that. And that's why I tell you all the time. Never let they let, never let them take your crown because you are royalty. Yes, I was born Prince David. That's how I was born. I was built for this. I'm not going to I'm not going I'm not ashamed of that. I was built for this and created for this. I didn't have to change my name to a Hebrew name and I make my boast in y'all. But I'm letting you know who I am. I'm letting you know what's up with me. So even if you did change your name, that's okay. But make sure that you are embodying the fullness of Yah. Don't let them tell you that you can't be pure. Don't let them tell you that your heart can't be pure. Because blessed are the pure in heart. So everybody that continues to say that the heart is deceitfully wicked, they have not encountered love. They have not encountered love. I'm going to say it again. Everybody that continues to say that the heart is deceitfully wicked have not encountered love. And I'm not going to change the message for nobody. I'm just the messenger. The message don't change. Since he came to me in my blood and said live back in 2016, the blood, the, the, the message don't change. Come up off these wicked jobs and walk in your kingdom assignment. I was homeless. I was, I was shoeless hallelujah i was one outfitless do you understand but i was never helpless do you understand that's what it took for me to come up out of my job and to walk in the glory that yah allows me by his grace by his kindness by his spirit by his power for i am just a man in the flesh but in my spirit i am great because he said I am great and he is the greater in me. So cut the fake stuff. Cut the fake stuff. Cut out the fake stuff. Cut the praising y'all with your heart and you afraid to go confront that devil that is trying to antagonize you. That devil that's trying to tell you that you ain't good enough. Stop the fakeness. Stop the fake Shalom Ak. Shalom Akoti. How you my Ak we ain't building nothing. How you my sister, my Colty, and we ain't building nothing? How we been doing the same thing for year after year after year after year? And ain't built nothing. Ain't no brotherhood in that. Brothers build. Brothers endure. Brothers check on each other. Not me the only one to check on people. But then I'm supposed to answer the phone. With, I'm, supposed to answer, I'm supposed to answer your phone call and be available to you. But you ain't checked on me in 10 months. It's stopping. The imbalance is stopping. So this message, once again, is for the children of life. I ain't bring you no religion. I don't got no scripture for you. All I got is power. All I got is a testimony of the power that I encountered. That can't nothing stop you. 
Can't nobody stop you. The naysayers, the haters, the instigators, the jealous people, the envious people. Can't nobody stop you. They tried you. They dogged you. They talked about you like a dog. They treated you like a dog. But guess what? Y'all lifted you up. Guess what? Y'all still gave you the love to forgive them. Guess what? Because those who are forgiven are forgiven much. So guess what? It's time to rise up. Guess what? No more apologizing. No more apologizing for being happy. You don't got to apologize to people for being happy. Hold up. You don't got to apologize to that devil for being glad. For having joy in your heart. You don't got to apologize to people for having so much joy in your heart that you can't contain it. You don't got to apologize to people for having so much praise in your heart that you can't stop singing. You don't got to apologize to these people for nothing. Do you understand? And with that being said, resurrect, oh you hidden ones. You are very special to the Most High. Oh you pure in heart. You who are pure in heart, you are very special to the Most High. He loves you with an everlasting love. He, he, he left his 99 behind just for you. That one, that one. He left it all behind just for you to, to come to you that day and say, my son, my daughter, you are special way beyond words. And if you will just open your heart to me, I will continue to show you that you are more special to me than ordinary people. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. The creator says that you're more special. A great wise man once said, even nature shows that there is no, that there is no equality. Even nature shows that there is no equality. For a house cat, for a lion, it's greater than a house cat, an alley cat. Okay? For an elephant, it's larger than a turtle. Okay? For, for a cheetah, even a cheetah runs faster than a dog. So there is no equality in the kingdom of heaven. So with that being said, hallelujah, understand when he gave you the greatest, he gave you the greatest. So you don't apologize for being the greatest. You don't apologize for being the chosen. You don't apologize for not being available to anybody anymore. You don't apologize for not being available to people who are not pouring out into your life on the daily. That is not the righteous thing to do to continue to give your last dollar to the man on the corner, but you don't even, you don't even Give your last to yourself. You don't even push past. You, you, you can give everybody the dollar on the corner, but you can't even conquer that thought that's continuing to tell you you're not good enough. Let the religion go. Let that all go and encounter the real love. The real love that'll tell the real love that'll tell you, no, don't give that man that dollar. Hallelujah. Save that dollar. That's the real love. That's what love is really telling you. Save the dollar. And go about your way and invest that dollar into yourself. Invest that dollar into your dream. Invest that dollar into the kingdom of heaven. And stop investing that dollar religiously because you think, oh, I got to get this man on the corner of the dollar. When you don't even understand that that man on the corner is set up to test you to see if you still operate under a religious spirit. Think you got to give, 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 give to everybody to ask you for something. So I'm completely done with the fake stuff. I will continue to block the fake people, the fake religious people, the fake spirits out of my life. I pray to the heavenly father to show me who is supposed to be in my life after this five years in this Hebrew Israelite journey. Five years dealing with this Hebrew Israelite stuff. I prayed and asked the heavenly father to remove whoever out of my life that ain't supposed to be in my life. And guess who in my life today? The one woman that I that I that I pray to be marrying soon. Where all the ox go? Where all the brothers go? Where all the shaloms go? Not there. And I'm not saying that everybody, I'm not saying that everybody that I don't talk to no more is a bad person. What I'm saying is this: I refuse to, to be available to people who are not reciprocating the love as a brother that I am giving. You must surround yourself with people who are reciprocating the glory that you are given. 
or else you will end up drained or else you will end up missing out on the blessing that Yah gave you. Yah gave you those blessings to enjoy. But unless you surround yourself with the right people, you're going to continue to give those blessings away. You continue to give your blessings to people that ain't giving their blessings back to you. In the name of religion, continue to give your blessings to people that ain't blessing you back. Just because they say hallelujah, giving your blessings to people that ain't giving you their blessings back. So when you give your blessings to people who are reciprocating their blessings back to you, guess what? Y'all continue to manifest the overflow. That's agreement. If two or more are gathered in my name, let us gather in his name. His name is abundance. His name is freedom. His name is power. His name is holy. Y'all worried about a name? Oh, they saved Jesus, so they so they something wrong with them. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Most people, not most, I ain't, ain't gonna say most, but a lot of people that say Jesus is a lot more pure than people that say Yah. Guess what? Because they're not caught up in head knowledge. They're not caught up in their mind and thinking that they know. I know the Sabbath, and I know fringes, and I know, and I know all this stuff. And I know that in 500 years ago, and I know that in 80 BC, but when the people that say Jesus, all they know is that he set them free. All they know is that he set them free. But the people that keep the Shabbat still ain't been set free. But the people that keep Shabbat keep talking about they cursed. But the, but the but majority of the Hebrew Israelite movement keep talking about they cursed. I'm done. Once again, stay out of my DM. If you're uncomfortable with what you see posted, block yourself. Block your entire self before I block you. Because I will. And some of y'all was about to get blocked, but I, but I had mercy. So once again, don't be in my inbox with the foolishness. I'm here to build with the pure in heart. Whether they Hebrew, Israelite, whether they Christian, whether they don't got no religion at all. Let's build because it's the pure in heart that shall see the most high God, the most high Yah. So to all my haters, because I know that y'all watch too, y'all time is coming as well. You still have the opportunity. You still have the opportunity to let that hate go. Let that bitterness go. Go ahead and give Yah his glory by admitting that the one that you hated on is sent from Yah. But if you have not the dignity to do that, your hate will continue to consume you. So I have forgiven everybody who has ever done me wrong. Everybody that has ever talked about me like a dog. I have forgiven you and I have released you. Hallelujah. But once again, love is boundaries. Love is boundaries. Once again, love is not making yourself available to people who are in and out of your life. If you are a brother, be consistent with people. Love is consistent. Love is not every other week I hear from you. Love is not every other week I, 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 I hit you up. It's time for people to stint. Consistent. Consistent. Consistency. Love is consistency. Love is consistency. Love is, even though I don't feel like it today, I'm consistent. Because when you have a wife, when you have children, you can't just talk to them every two weeks. So why you treat your brother like that? Why you treat your sister like that? But soon as you have need of something, soon as you have a desire for something, soon as you know that they can help you with something, but you're on their line. But you're not on their line two days ago, asking them how they doing. The buck stops here. It stops here. I'm, I'll be 30 this year. And, and what we about to be bringing forth by the glory of Yah is on a whole nother level. It's on a whole entirely nother level. In order to bring it forth, it must be obedience. So I must obey my heavenly father. And my heavenly father has told me, do not make yourself available to people who are not consistent in your life. Yes, yes. Okay, they hit you up. They ask you for this. They ask you for that. Yes, son, you have it. But guess what? They have improved their loyalty. So guess what? 
they are not entitled to the blessings that I give you. If someone has not proved their loyalty in your life and your consistency and their consistency in your life, they are not entitled to the blessings that Yah is giving to you. I'm going to say that one more time because the pure in heart, you need to really understand this. And if, and, and if this is knocking at your door, you need to humble yourself and repent because it's a reason that you got on here. Because what Yah's about to do, Yah's about to show who his people is. I'm talking about the pure in heart. Yah is about to have a change of authority. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this straight from the heavens. There is, there is a change in authority that is about to take place in the earth. I'm going to say it again. A change in authority. No, not no man-made authority. I'm talking about a kingdom of heaven spiritual authority that's taking place. And just like with Moses, how people hated Moses and said, oh, Moses, he could have talked to us too. And oh, Moses, you ain't no better than us. Just like he told Moses is the one that I chose. So the ones that Yah has chose, he is about to show. And if you refuse to follow the ones that he has showed you to follow, you will get destroyed because of your pride and your arrogance. And I am not saying that I'm the one. But what I am saying is keep your eyes towards the hills because it's about to be revealed who has the authority of the kingdom of heaven, who has the authority over darkness, who has the authority over the children of, uh, uh, over, over the, the, the children of Satan and over the works of Satan is about to be shown. So you better not, once again, share your blessings with those who have not been proven to be loyal and consistent in your life. You better save those blessings and continue to let those blessings multiply and outpour onto those who are appointed to receive of the blessings that the Almighty has given you. So I'm not with the religion. Yes, I was. Yes, I'm learning Hebrew. I'm, I, and I'm not gonna get to that. And I'll be back to that. And I, and I love the Hebrew. But I'm not there no more with the. You say one Hebrew out of all your sentences. You say one Hebrew word out of all that you say. You say one Hebrew word, and you think that you're holier than thou, because you, because you done read some man wrote that blessing was a bad word. So now you say. Out of all your words, you just say Baraka or, or Baraka, and you think that you have arrived. But you 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 say Baraka, but you can't even real you can't even say that you're perfect as your father in heaven. You say shalom, but you can't even you can't even accept that the heart is supposed to be pure when you walk in Yah. So the fake people, I'm through with you, I'm done with you. I'm cutting all the fakeness out of my life. Fake, 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 done. And I make my boast in Yah that I have been available to people. I made myself available to people. I made my I made what Yah has given me available to people. Even before Yah really, I ain't gonna say that, but I made myself available by the glory of Yah. But Yah says, son, you have wasted your time with people that I did not tell you to waste your time with. And this is true repentance. Yah showed me, son, you have made yourself available to people that are not worthy. You have, you have made yourself available to people that are not, not worthy. And this stops. This stops now. So whatever you can take from this message, let Yah be praised because he is the true and living almighty one. And I love him more than I love life. And I don't have to prove that to you. To the 22 people on here, I don't have to prove that to you. I know it. Because the love of the Most High is the greatest thing that I can talk about. It is the greatest thing that I can think about. It is the greatest thing that I sing about. It is the greatest thing that I dream about. I imagine about the love of Yah. I inquire about the love of Yah. I'm curious about the love of Yah. I've discovered the love of Yah. And even in my discovery, I continue to, to quest in the love of Yah. I continue to journey in the love of Yah. And though, no, I do not compare myself amongst myself. However, it is no one else that I've seen that, that ignited this in me. So it is for me to let you know that this is of Yah. Period and point blank. So don't just say you are awesomely and wonderfully made and not be it and not mean it. No matter what you call it, devil, hashaitan, negativity, know that you have the power over it. Over every single thought, over every single emotion, 
over every single suggestion that comes from the supernatural spiritual realm. You, my brother, my sister, you, son of Yah, daughter of Yah, daughter of Zion, son of Zion, you have the authority. That's right, I'm so happy to be in his peace. I'm so happy to be in his wholeness. I'm so sad, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I can say that because of him, that because of his word in me, for the purity that I know, the purity that is within me that I can now see, the purity that is within me that has released me from all outside obligations. That no, I'm not judging those if you if you smoke weed, I'm not saying that it's wrong. But what I'm saying is that has released me from the need to even smoke weed or any alternative method. I don't want an alternative method. All I want is the most high. Because this high ain't coming down. This high don't go nowhere. This high can't be rolled up. This high, you don't need a lighter for it. This high, all you got to do is give your life. This high, all you got to do is surrender. This high, the most high, all you got to do is know him, trust him, believe his word. I don't care if you don't know no scriptures. Know this, that there is one in heaven who reigns above it all that sent his word that created out of his word and sent that same word to redeem that same creation that it were that his word created that is the gospel that is the good news you don't gotta go to church you don't gotta be black you don't gotta be a hebrew israelite i ain't don't need your tithes money i don't need your donations i need you to win I need you to win. I need you to win. I need you to get up and be great. I need you to look within yourself and find the greatness that's in you. I need you to open your mouth and sing and praise the one who's been sustaining you. That's what I need you to do. Because then my reward in heaven is sure. Because those seeds that are planted right now by Yah, those seeds that are that are watered right now by Yah, I get credit for that as far as in the kingdom of heaven. Like that goes into my spiritual bank account. So I need you to win. I need to know that these seeds are not falling on, 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 on dry ground. I need to know that these seeds are falling on rich soil. That is what I need from you. With that being said, we're going to bring this to a close. If you did not catch it, catch it at the beginning. Um, this is your brother, Prince David. That is my name. Call me by my name. I am Prince David. This is your brother. Signing off. Walk in the light. Be great. Be excellent. Just as Daniel. Daniel had an excellent spirit. The Almighty promoted him above his enemies. When you walk, I'm going to say this and get off this. As you walk with the excellent spirit in this season, you shall be promoted over your enemies. You are already over your enemies. You are already in the spirit. Let me make it very clear. In the spirit, you are already over your enemies. Let me make that very clear. But in the natural realm, in the natural realm, thus saith the most high, just as with Daniel, as you walk with the excellent spirit. An excellent spirit is, is accepting that I can be perfect as my father in heaven is perfect. That's the excellent spirit. An excellent spirit is accepting that I do not lack. Hallelujah. An excellent spirit is accepting that I will love the most high. With all my heart, mind, and my soul. And I will love my neighbor like I love myself. Because I'm consistent with myself, I will be consistent with the people that I say that I love. If I call you my brother, I'm going to be consistent with you. I'm not going to hit you up every two weeks and every three weeks and every four weeks and think that our relationship is supposed to have grown. How does our relationship grow if it's every two and three and four and five and six months? You're not a brother. So what I'm saying is, Excellent spirit is being consistent with those that you say that you love. Not say that you love, that you know you love. Starting with yourself. Because starting with you is starting with the most high. Before you can even talk to the most high, you had to talk to yourself and say, Self, you was a raggedy mess. Self, you need to get this together. Self, this is ratchet. Self, I cannot live like this no more. Self, when I was living in sin, I, I said to self, self, I would rather die than continue to live a life of sin. 
So when you have that conversation, you gotta, you gotta, that's why you gotta put yourself first to put y'all first. Because y'all is what he gave. You are what y'all gave you. So by being the good steward of you, then you can come and present you to him. I am joyfully free. It is not just a website. It is not just three words. I am joyfully. Four words. It's not just four words. It is a lifestyle. It is kingdom. It is a have been given authority to walk in joy every moment of your life. And no, joy is not always smiling. No, joy is not always laughter. Joy is power and it is strength. So as you walk with the excellent spirit and as you do your due diligence, according to the faith, the measure of faith that has been given unto you. And even now, I pray that your measure of faith be taken to a greater measure, that the measure of, 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 of hope be taken to a greater level, that his measure, that his outpouring of love be taken to a greater outpouring of love in your heart and in your mind. And as you walk in that excellent spirit and as you love with unfeigned love, you are supposed to love one another with such a great love. There should, your brother Prince, there shouldn't be people like me out there that feel like, dang, who care about me? Who check on me? Other than leaving comments on YouTube and leaving DMs about how beautiful you like this song. Who checks on me? Who calls me? Guess who? Yeah. And that's okay. But what I'm telling you is don't let don't allow that to be the next brother or the next sister love your brother for real love your sister for real love your wife like Mashiach loved the church wives know that your husband is bringing you that love wives love him too I know that I know that's not a a, 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 a scripture in there right but wives you need to love you need to love your husband like 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 we supposed to love the most high how about that write that one down Men, love your wife like Christ loves the church. Women, love your husband like you're supposed to love the most high. Period, point blank. I love you all with the love of the most high. I am but a, a vessel. And what I'm letting you know is you can judge me all you want. I'm just a messenger. But the message, my friend, the message, my foes, will never Change and I would never change the message, and I would never water down the message for nobody not for no views, not for no Hollywood, not for no money, not for no sex, not for no congregation, not no organization, not no monetization. The message remains the same that you shall know the truth, and that the truth shall make you free. So, if you know the truth, you're free. And if you're acting like you know the truth, you're in bondage. Just like he told the Pharisees, because y'all because y'all say that y'all have not sinned, you remain in it. So you're talking about you all in the truth and you've been in the truth for five years, but you're still working on a job that you don't like. You ain't in the truth because the truth said that he's going to provide for you. That's being in the truth. Being in the truth is not being in the Hebrew Israelite. Being in the truth is not being in an organization relation. Being in the truth means that you are free, that you are free from worry, that you are free from doubt, that you are free from fear, that you are free from low self-esteem, that you are free from lack, that you are free from, from, from wickedness, that you are free from sin. That is being in the truth. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. This is your brother, Prince David, signing off. Continue to level up. Continue to be the brightest, brightest, bright light for the path of the just is as the shining light that shines more bright until the perfect day many are called few are chosen know where you stand because now is the time of promotion and you shall see who yah says is the apple of his eye hallelujah it is done and it is so and it is written and it is fulfilled